Hello Taurus and welcome to your general November reading. This reading is for anyone who has a placement in the sign of Taurus, such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. In this reading I'm going to be looking for the most predominant energies for the sign of Taurus in the month of November. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. This is going to be very helpful for me to know exactly how many people are looking at these readings and you are never going to be missing an upload. At the end of this reading, I'm going to be pulling some additional cards for the sign of Taurus by the end of the year and how the situation is going to look like. So let's see what the Taurus people need to know for the month of November 2022. The most predominant energies for the period. You have three of swords as an overall general energy for the period. The Sun, Nine of Swords, the Temperance card, and bottom of the deck for right here and right now, it's Five of Cups energy. Taurus, you are one of the signs together with Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius to be having the hardest period and uh, events in your life for the last two, two and a half years. Also, around 8th of November, there is an eclipse in your sign with your full moon. And uh, this is talking about eclipsing something out of your life the end of something not on the date exactly but in the next six months to come and for some of you Tauruses if not for all of you this is going to be a reminder of what you don't have of what is that you are putting your energy into that it's not gonna grow it's not gonna deliver anything the Five of Cups energy right here and right now talks to me that some of you Taurus people might find that you have not only one but three blockages in your existing uh, surroundings uh, and uh, it's uh, negativity, emotional negativity. It's also scarcity, it's also disappointments. And for you, Taurus, it might be uh, an energy that you need to work over in order to move forward. Through the pain and through the loss, you're actually going to find yourself enlightened in some way. It sounds really dramatic, but we have the sun shining for you in the month of November. This is the energy of growth, positivity, abundance, good health and uh, prosperity coming for you. It's the energy of you realizing that things are probably not as dark as you might think. For some of you, this message might not be easy to be uh, passed through just because you are worrying literally about everything. It's like you cannot put the mental stress, the anxiety away in order to look at the good things in life, the things that are working for you. It might be really 
hard but necessary for you to realize that no matter what the sun is gonna shine even if this is the only positive idea that you implement into your mind looking at the developments in the month of November it's gonna be a breakthrough moment it's going to be a moment in which you are enlightened about the good things that are also available for you although you might not be able to see them right here and right now entering the month of November And of course you have the temperance card, card of Sagittarius, which talks to me that some of you Taurus people might be enlightened or really starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel in the Sagittarius season. But on top of that, the energy of this card talks about you tempering your expectations your efforts your negativity even realizing that it's not always up to us it's most of the time most of the times not up to us to receive to get exactly what we want when we want it we are part of a bigger frame and uh, when we understand that and when we learn that uh, we should put the effort into what we believe in no matter what if we're going to receive the results right here right now or exactly at the moment that we would like to receive them this is also to do with your belief system and with uh, the general values that you have maybe it's a good period for you to enlighten yourself about what transformation needs to take place in your value system in order to support you through these hard times of disappointments and blockages negative thoughts and how you can oppose to this negativity and still grow and still get what you want Taurus gonna be pulling some additional cards for the nine of wands and for the three of swords ten of pentacles confirms nine of swords and the strength card confirms the three of swords Taurus, are you feeling punished because you trusted in your heart's desire? This might be the case for some of you. But for some other of you, these heartaches that you have experienced in the previous one to two years, it's actually the test for your strength, the test for Taurus if they are really capable of receiving, achieving their victory, no matter all the disappointments, no matter all the difficulties. It's a test. And you being the financial sign, of course, you always worry about money, material security, the well-being of the people around you and this might be the case for you even if at some point you decide to sacrifice your well-being in order for of the happiness of the other in order to support the people around you even uh, you should know that you should always be included in this picture in this plan in this idea you are an island of steadiness, strength, material security, even if you don't realize it. 
So don't let any negativity distract you from your real goal being absolutely materially secure and providing such benefits to the closest circle around you. Let's see how this reading continues. Show me more about the Taurus and what the Taurus people need to know for the month of November. So we have Ace of Swords confirming the Three of Swords. Two of Cups confirming the Sun energy. The Devil confirming the Nine of Swords. And the Lovers confirming the Temperance. And <laughs> final card the world Taurus having additional look at your reading is one message that is pumping in my mind is that you are going to be completing this cycle successfully no matter the disappointments no matter what is lacking in your world what is lacking in your emotional satisfaction in the processes that you might find yourself involved you are actually doing a really good job even if you don't see it because this card means successful end of a big chapter in your life and successfully starting a brand new journey it's card of saturn it talks about good karma in these processes so you must have done something right although you might not be able to see it right now and it's the devil in the middle of your reading right above your negative thoughts that might be the reason some of you Taurus people cannot put their fear away right here right now you might feel also addicted to this negativity in a way that you might realize or it might be on a sub subconscious level also it's blocking you to really see the sun to believe that positive developments are also possible uh, possible please make an effort to realize that this is an illusion it's a distraction and some of you are putting this distraction by themselves thinking then this is the right way to manage the situation to control what they cannot control but think again in case that this is really the reality you will not like the results at the end and the karma of saturn is not going to be as good as it can but also some of you of course will emotionally sense attract open their eyes for people that might help you through these hard times and not only that some of you Taurus people might really appreciate their partnership in existence with their loved one and appreciate the support that they've been giving in a completely new way in a way in which they 
benefit greatly from the idea that they have never been left aside. It's a brand new realization on top of all your worries and all your heartaches. And uh, it's a strong new energy that you might be giving in the time period of November, Taurus. It's an aha moment in which you realize that all these heartaches, all these disappointments, all these problems are in order for you to find for yourself what is that you treasure the most, what really makes you king of your own destiny and gives you the strength, the vision, the mental power to break through all that is putting you down cut the cords of negativity and really become this bright new Taurus. You are going to be giving an opportunity in the month of November to really cut through illusion, addiction, toxicity and false sense of security in order to achieve the real gold in your life whatever it might be for some of you this might be a brand new concept in which they all over again look in their present situation for some other terraces it might be exactly an opportunity to understand when they where they have an illusion that it's blocking them preventing them to achieve the desired outcome, the successful result. At the same time, this might lead to a significant and important new choice. It might be a choice about a romantic partner and putting the things to the next level, the sun. Some of you Tauruses might be realizing in this month of November period that they need to put their personal relationships in the to the next level and literally work on getting a child. But this is for some of you. For most of you, I see that after this breakthrough moment, after this clarity achieved going through many, many negative happenings, disappointments, you're going to be taking a choice according to, to this new vision, according to this new realization, according to, to this new strategy a painful strategy, a painful process, but yet leading to a significant choice to do with ending this cycle successfully, taking the lesson, leaving the negativity and the toxicity behind. Gonna be pulling one more card. Before I close this reading, you're going to be managing successfully anything to do with past illusion and new ideas. I believe that you're going to be able to really cut out anything that holds you down for the wrong reasons. And this will be with the help of a loved one, closest people around you, people that share the same values as you. And you're going to be taking a significant choice or choices to do with exactly that in the month of November, Taurus. Let's see how the energies are going to develop after end of November by the end of this year, Taurus, for you. I'm going to be pulling a major arcana 
and then three cards from my other deck to confirm that so you have the tower energy okay i'm gonna take this one and another and another two cards So Taurus, whatever you are not able with your own strength, with your own effort to remove as negativity as false beliefs in the period of November, it's going to be removed by the circumstances. It's going to be removed for your highest good from the eclipse energy and from unexpected events the tower energy it's really going to be working to your benefit and we also have ace of cups queen of pentacle and the temperance again the card of sagittarius so taurus you have the temperance card twice which tells me that literally the energies from the month of november one way or another are going to prolong in the month of december by the end of this year please work on your understanding of the bigger picture your value system and try not to stagnate yourself because you're not receiving whatever you want to achieve right here right now understand that things are going to happen when they're going to happen and this is for the greater good of all of us Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Cups also tell me that in this time period, end of November and December, you're still going to be managing to attract financial opportunities. You're going to be working on the mechanism of making each one of them successful, productive, steady as presence in your surroundings. And you're actually going to manage to benefit out of this situation. And we also have the Ace of Cups energy, which is a brand new emotional beginning for you. Sometime at the end of November, in December. And it talks about a brand new love, a brand new passion to do with everything you do. For some of you, it might be a brand new love on a personal level, a new emotion, a new partnership that might appear in this time period. But this development prolonging the energies for Taurus in the month of November is literally telling me that all the efforts are going to be worth it. You're going to be managing to succeed in whatever your new value system or your new goal is. It's like work in progress to really be in love with the circumstances happening around you, Taurus. There is nothing to worry about. Yes, times are hard especially for Taurus people, but you have the needed strength. You know in your heart what you desire the most. And from another perspective, Taurus, it's just a test. You are going to be successfully moving through these obstacles in the time period of November to December, attracting the better opportunity to you and it's coming it's coming for sure because this card of temperance also talks about balance harmony 
and everything being in the right place at the right time. So Taurus, this is all I have for you for the month of November and December. Please like, share, comment this video and I'll see you in December for your next general reading. Take care Taurus.